Alrighty guys, welcome back to another big Urgot gameplay video. Before the matches start, I just want to quickly show this little cheat sheet that I made to help you guys out with general builds and runes for Urgot. I also wanted to ask you guys how many games you prefer in these longer videos, so let me know in the comments between 2 and 7 games. Also, I just quickly want to say these longer videos do take more time to make, so like is appreciated if you enjoy them. And with that being said, let's get into the gameplays guys. All right, so we're up against Scion, Diamond 2 Scion. Oh, dude, he's an OTP Atrox, and my, my ban is Atrox right now. We banned him out. So many Atrox players, dude. That's why I ban it. Like, it, I'll admit, it's not the hardest matchup for Urgot. But there's so many of them, and it is pretty hard. Ooh, nice, we got the pull. I don't miss any minions for that either. Oh yeah, his name is God King Atrox. I actually didn't even notice. Ah, he got me with that. I'm gonna start pushing so we can get early call. It's not bad. As long as I don't miss a minion. Wow, I tried to e buffer there. Okay, let's pop the HP just in case we get ganked. Zach didn't start bot side, so this is really sketchy for me, actually. Dude, this is insanely sketchy. Oh no, I'm gonna miss Cannon now. He's zoning me. Okay, we see Zach at least, so that's nice for me. That is really nice right now. Dang, he's winning these trades kind of hard, but he's running out of mana. Don't know if he has biscuits. I don't... No, I don't think he does. I think he's got the minion thingy instead. I'm so zoned though, man. This is rough. Wow, that one gets me? Really? Wow, perfect. I waited for that shotgun to spawn. Because I knew that top shotgun was going to spawn soon. Oh my god, he almost smacked me. Okay, he's porting back. I'm going to do the same then. Definitely no way we can push this. Hopefully he doesn't run through the bush here. Okay, cool. Holy moly, spicy lane, dude. I'm going to build a little bit for survival here. Wow, he actually was able to get a cinder on the back. This guy farmed really good. Even though we got that kill, his buy's actually stronger. And I'm going to be kind of weak in these levels. Yeah, the, the Scion's keys are really good. That's one thing that's kind of hard about Urgot T versus Scion. You kind of just have to e for them early. You can't really dodge them on Scion because you're just... Or on Urgot, I mean. Because you're just so big and slow. Try to get six for the grub fight here. An enemy has been slain. Wow, that Q did a lot for like hardly charging it. Double kill. I feel like we definitely win the TVT right now. Just up to the kindred if he wants to path. Actually, the TV2 could be kind of close. Oh man, I tried to get that cannon. 
Should be okay. I got a bush here. Cancel his vision. Well, thank goodness I had flash up. That completely outplayed him. Wow, Kendra not going for the grubs? Really? I think he could have just soloed the grubs. I need to try to nuke this wave fast. Thankfully, he can't ulti back. Man, I'm playing into a Zaki right now, too. If he flies over this wall. Let's go extra extra far back here. He's going to run through the bushes for sure. Dang, he got a Bramble. He's going to cut my coal heels. It's good to go behind your tower gun sign because sometimes they try to E a minion. They'll try to get the cancel on you like that. I'm actually going to hold off on that. This is a good Swifties game, I think. Because there's so many skill shots I need to dodge. Also, movement is like really crucial for <clears throat> Scion. Because uh, you can like, you can run, you can run in like really weird angles. And it puts a lot of pressure on his Q. It's not even worth fighting him here. But yeah, against Sion, I like to like run inside of him and like run at really weird angles. Like you don't give him an easy Q. That's how you beat Sion in the mid game. Nice. Hextech is really good for our team comp. So nice for Kindred Ash. Oh, wow. Zach is actually bought. Wow. Both junglers not going for the uh, Void Grubs here. Probably only going to be one batch of grubs this game, then. An enemy has been slain. I wonder if we can kill Scion here. I'm going to miss a wave if I go for it, though. It's going to be so much easier to push waves pretty soon once I get nine. Alright, this is a great time to get these grubs. Hey, welcome in, Lazy. Why are the minions not even going on me? What the heck? That's so weird. I feel like they should run at me there for sure. Kindred might honestly just kill him here. It's pretty tanky though. It's a beefy boy. Stole my grinder. Gonna stun the Scion. He does more damage. Ooh, he flashed. I think we still got it, though. I made sure not to take that kill. I think it's a lot better on Kindred. Kindred carries games so hard right now. Oh, man. He actually might win this. Dude, I think I ran out of mana. 
It might have been the cooldown, but I think that Q made me run out of mana. Was that the mana sound, or was it the cooldown sound? I thought I heard the mana one. Dang, I juked out his Q, too. Honestly, though, this, this is fine. I reset his gold. A shutdown to tank sign is something I'm not really worried about. Oh, nice. He's dead. And now his gold's reset, so it's actually tactical feed. Yeah, maybe I should have flashed on that first kill. I don't know. I thought I had it without flashing. I don't even mind, though, to be honest. I'm going to be really strong this game. This is actually an okay Bork game, to be honest, because they have double front line. That's definitely on top lane. Oh, I couldn't flash. I was CC'd. All right, we got to accept our death on that. I was going to try to get over here and flash. So it's kind of fun. I did not expect to Zack gank like right as he ulted back. That's really smart on their part. Let's see. Do I need to go hole breaker this game? My team's doing super good. I might just go into tanky mode. Nah, hole breaker sounds fun. Plus, Scion's going to be split pushing a lot. So I'll probably side lane versus him a lot. I was kind of thinking of going uh, Sterax into Bork. I think that could also work pretty good. You think Zack needs nerfs? Yeah, that champ is really strong. I mean, honestly, they did nerf him a little bit, too, even. They mostly nerfed him for top lane, though. Because, like, they nerfed his passive sustain a lot, so I, he's really strong in the jungle still. He walked over my control ward. I love when people do that. Um, if you get Bork, it's still worth it to W. It's 50%, but you fire three Ws. Honestly, when you get Bork, you want to do three W auto attack still. I still might get like a really late game Bork. But it depends on how my team is doing. Only if I need to be damaged. Okay, we can rotate for Shelly here. Could maybe look mid, but it, it's honestly a tank Scion. It's not really that big of a deal. I think when you're playing versus tanks, you should always prioritize objectives. And, like, try to look for good teleports to help out your team. Like, killing the tank is not very important. If you can do it for free, then it's worth it, but... If you can do something else with your time, then usually that's more worth. I'm trying to heal up with my fleet a little bit. I can go back in once I have my E. Wow, his E cooldown's back already? Really nice kiting there. Dang, that TP, man. Okay, he got the Zac at least. That's fine. Really good TP by the Scion. 
Are Ashes saying go next, don't hostage? What? We're winning, dude. I think we also scale better, I think. I, their scaling is pretty insane, actually. Ours isn't bad, though. Kendra destroys their team comp. I'll keep my call for now. Yeah, the TP was really good. This is kind of good that uh, Scion's worth a shutdown now, though. Dude has a thorn mill already. This guy's been mixing up his Q timings. I thought he was going to go for more of a channel there. For being OTP at Trox, this guy's a good Scion, too. Yeah, that's the thing. Urgos actually skills really good versus tank comps because your shotguns just get out of control. They do max health, physical damage. And then if I get a Borg late game, like, their their tanks will just get completely shredded. But also Ash and Kindred can also go Borg. So Victor, poor on bot lane. Let's go by Holebreaker. It's a nut it's a pretty big buy right now. We can look mid real quick because I got top lane pretty pushed out. Might just end up going to Drake. I don't want to show on this wave. I don't want them to know I'm roaming. Whoa! Why did she arrow down there, man? She must have clicked on the map or something. Seen the Skarner rework? Yeah, I saw it, dude. It looks pretty crazy. He looks kind of weak, but, like, the champion looks like he's going to be really good utility and, like, tank. Nice, perfect. You guys see what I mean with dodging his Q? See how I'm kind of like zigzagging? And I'm trying to stay really close to him. I don't want to give him distance. The closer you are and the more you can move around weird, the better. And I don't think a port saves this, but let's try. Maybe it does. It's like both of these champs hard kite me though. Yeah, I knew it. I can kind of only play versus those champs if I have flash up. Or if I play off like a Airy Charm or something. The other option was to try to push for tier 2. I kind of wanted the drag though. Thing. Sadly, my team just lost while I was fighting the Scion. Yeah, I think they did a really good job on the, like, the the visual on Skarner, though. I like how they give him three stingers. Like, he really looks like a scorpion you would not want to mess with. Like, right now, he doesn't really... He doesn't look that scary. Okay, let's try to get mid here. One good Ash arrow could really change the game, I think. Could flash on the victor, but it would put me under tower. Ah, dang, I don't like to use flash like that.
Hey, we got Victor Flash at least. That's good. I think we just get out with that, to be honest. It's a small win for us. I can sniper soon. Oh man, I wonder. Ah, oh, she went mid. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna tank this. This is sketchy play, though, man. This is way too greedy. Oh no. There, he's gonna kill us all. Try to stall for my E, maybe. Okay, not bad, actually. That's a huge shutdown. Dude, these fights are so intense, man. I feel like I need some speed. I feel like after Sterax, I should go maybe Dead Man's. But I also need MR, so maybe Force of Nature. Yeah, probably Force of Nature. I say Force of Nature, and then we try to E Flash on Zeri and just kill her. They have a lot of, like, little magic damage to easily stack up my Force of Nature. We'll go bot, try to look for a good TP. Alright, see you later, demon. Have a good one, dude. Sion is keeping to take the tower. What is he doing? Is he gonna live through that? I feel like there's no way, right? Okay, nice. I should be able to get tier two here. Victor's gonna rotate. Hopefully Zach doesn't come with him. Oh, that's not good. Man, the Zack was just instantly there. You would think this fight would be winning if Zack is down here and Victor. Ooh, good try in the flash. You hate playing for Zach? Yeah, it's not easy. I think he's one of the best champs. I think he's probably the best tank in the game. Dude, having a Zach on your team as Urgot is so nice, though. That's one of my favorite champs. I think it's worth it to TP for this. Dragons are so value if we get some. Might be too late, though. If anything, we could try to fight at least. Oh my god, the UB jumped out. I was about to pull her too. Holy moly, the shotguns are shredding, dude. The shotguns are absolutely shredding. He wants his mark first, that's fair. I think we'll have time. Every kindred mark is so value. He's got nine right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, let me get the wave. I'm so close to Force of Nature. And we're gonna have Flash for next fight. Whoops, missed the cannon. Dang it. I thought I had a shotgun ready. Wow, really? I missed two cannons? I get kind of lazy on these late game cannons. I need to stop that. Like, usually it's fine because you just do so much damage. But yeah, we probably should group mid. I don't even think I want to split. Because tier 2 is already gone and I have no teleport. This guy's pushing top though. I might need to get top real quick actually. I think I do. Toggling W gets tiring sometimes. Yeah, I just get kind of lazy with it on cannon minions. Oh man, they're double TPing. Okay, I'm rotating. I rotate really fast with this build. 426 base movement speed. I don't want to ulti the Zac because he has passive. That Q was clean. Just enough damage to pull her there with that Q. Ooh, nice. Very nice. 770 on that Hallbreaker auto. 540 on the tower. Holy smokes, GG. I've been liking the Scion matchup, man. I think Fleet, Cleaver, Swifties, Conditioning, Overgrowth, HP Scaling. I think you just scale into him really nicely. Honestly, well played to Airy and well played to Kindred. Well played to bot lane too, but especially Airy and Kindred. All right, that puts us to Diamond 1, 61 LP on the main account. So two wins and we should be masters. Oh, I thought that was Kindred Jungle for a sec. That's right, they swapped. I welcome you. Wow, I forgot they swapped. This guy was actually supposed to be support and he ends up playing that good on jungle. That's clutch. Dang, almost 5,000 fleet heals. Nice, GG. I know, I've been liking this Professor thing. It's kind of nice just to scout. The, the thing that's cool about Professor, which is something that I think they should have in the game, I don't like how you can't see people's secondary. But if you pull up Professor, you can just go here and you can see their secondary runes. Wow, she's going Gathering Storm. Okay, they're actually playing for the late game, the Smolder Kale combo. But yeah, I think it's cool how you can see the secondary runes. That's something I wish you could... That's honestly, like, the main reason I got Professor. By the way, we're running Approach with the Magical Footwear. It's like my third, third or fourth game trying to approach for a skill. It's been really nice so far. Approach is also going to be pretty good with our team comp. The Galio and Zelene. I can actually kind of zone her off XP here. I'm going to zone her off these two melees completely. I'm going to drop a few minions, but I still get XP. The more you can set kill behind an XP early, 
It really helps. Because you're you're kind of on like a, a ticking time bomb in this matchup. Wow, my auto attack just didn't go off. Too much minion damage. I'm glad this wave doesn't crash into a tower, though. That's really good. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, Galio does this game. The Galio changes. Curious if he's going to be like a top tier mid pick now. So once I get back, the wave will be in a really good spot. Can maybe try to kill this guy or like get a flash or something. She is going flash and go, so... Probably not a kill, but maybe we can burn some sums. Yeah, the stream's been good, lucky one. I hope you're doing good too, man. First blood. Trying to get masters right now, we're like D150 LP. I don't want to overtrade that. Her wave's on me. We got her kind of, kind of buttered up though a little bit. I don't know if she's gonna let me hold the wave. Yeah, it's a bit greed. Dang, I really wish I could hold that wave. I'd use my key for the cannon, yeah. He's so fast. It's not even really her being fast, it's more so just me being slow. And if I give up my Q, then I give up my approach velocity. I don't think the grubs are too big of a deal. Oh my gosh, my shotgun, dude. We're farming so good, but I just missed two two cannons now. So I'll go for the plate here. Such a big wave, I might as well. I wonder how close she is to six. Oh my god, no way she gets it right there. Okay, that's fine. That might be a kill if she doesn't get six, though. This is really good, because the next wave should crash, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna play to kill her here. She might not be looking. She could be looking in the fog of war and see my TP. But if she's not looking, I can kill her. Because she's gonna want to push. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna wait for her to ulti. I'll take it. That's actually smart of her to hold ulti, because no matter what, she's dead. Nice, she did. She definitely didn't see the teleport. An enemy has been slain. 
I want to thin down this wave. I just want to trim it a little bit. I don't want this to fully push into my tower. Three melees. This should be pretty good. Let's get rid of another mage. She still has her ulti, so I can't really go like two in here. Try to keep the wave here. Bit of a bummer we have Yi jungle into Kale. Got her to use W. Probably just gonna go for a back here after we crash this wave. This will be a pretty good buy. The reason it kind of sucks to have Yi against kills because usually, if you have a really aggressive jungler, you can like easily shut this champion down. Well, not not super easily, but. Oh wow, Liss is here too. I thought it was just a. Uh, what's his name? Wow, they're doing just a perfect rotation for Grubs. Let's do Tunneler because I need to keep an inventory open for Boots. Dang, they're gonna have six Grubs, man. Power is about to be shredded. I really like the grubs, but it sucks when your jungler like doesn't want to play for them. Like you kind of need jungler and mid to play for them if the enemy team is. I can't really like go in solo. Ergot's really bad at soloing grubs too, like especially pre nine. Yeah, and then sometimes support rooms too. It's kind of a double-edged sword. It's like, I like grubs because they make it to where top lane has more interaction. But then it also has more interaction for the enemy team. When your team is playing for grubs, I, I feel like the grub fight usually goes pretty good for me. This wave is pushing back to me, which is what I want. Shotgun's going to mess it up a little bit though. Maybe trading the grubs for some kills on E was worth it, though. Alright, cool. We got our ghost. I wish that wave didn't push through, though. Can still kind of hold it here. This lane's going really well, though, I'd say. It's going to get really nice with Hallbreaker. Now I'm going to start perma pushing. That's fine. I want to stay for the play anyway. I'm actually going to keep staying because I can just TP back now at this point. But we could try to look for a kill first. 
Okay, still has flash. That was a really well timed ulti by her. Right on my shotgun, Brock. This is really good though, because I TP back now and she's like really low on resources. Now I just hard push for plates. If she stays, I can dive her. If she doesn't, I get a ton of plates. Either way, it's a big win. Four W auto attack. You really want that auto attack to be not a W proc. Kha'Zix is boss, so I can keep pushing here. I thought somebody was taking that Hexgate, but I guess it was just spawning. That kind of scared me. Because I saw everybody at Drake. I was like, there's no way. Hopefully she pushes up here. It's going to be so much easier once I have Swifties. Uh, the tip for beating kill at level 16 is you have to close the gap really fast before you take too much damage. So you either have to have a lot of speed or you have to like E flash ASAP before she chunks you out too much. And then you also usually have to save your ulti for a little bit. Because you want to like time your ulti pull with her ulti ending. Whoa, wait a minute. We could kill this guy. He could try to jump back in the pit, though. Yeah, he might have just jumped back. I don't know. He probably ran over this way somewhere. Yeah. I thought he was going to try to go for the portal. He went for the jump, though. I was going to go Swifties, but I think just getting Cleaver is better here. My team fight is so strong right now with these items. Looks like it's going to be an a uh, AD Kale. That's actually really good. Randoons is going to be super high value this game then. That'll give me another slow to proc approach velocity too. Yeah, also ideally, like, you do want to try to beat kill before then, or at least get, like, a CS lead. You should be winning the lane versus kill pretty hard. Like, she shouldn't be able to farm, at least, like, freely. I will say, though, kill's, like, pretty good at playing safe as a champion. Can't even use my grinder there. We got the tower at least, so it's kind of like an even trade. I think I really like Swifties versus kill, but I might need to go Tabbies this game. 
I think with it being 80 kill, Tabbies are really high value. It's also Lethality, Kha'Zix. So armor is even more value. Oh my god, that Galio damage. Friggin' Hulk smash. I'm gonna try to get bot tower here. It's so much gold. Definitely worth using TP for. Getting a ton of value out of Hole Breaker this game. Yeah, I think Liss did flash. She used her, like, stopwatch thingy, too. Plus Soraka ulti. I was gonna ulti her, but she was just stalling out too much time. I thought he was going to jump the other way. I guess I'll go top here. We can play for Baron. Galio's got the ulti coming up pretty soon once Baron spawns. This Galio's full AP, by the way. He's got a Rabadon's. He doesn't even have a full item besides Rabadon. Holy moly. He's got a lot of Dark Seal stacks, though. Grinder's down for a little bit. Hopefully, we can play it kind of slow. Beautiful fling there, dude. I thought that wall was maybe going to cancel for a sec. That was sick. I'm going to zone this guy off if I can. I think with ulti plus approach, I can catch up here. Oh my gosh, he has ghost on. He ghosted during the uh, invisible. He's trying to go for the steal, dude. Oh my god, if he gets this. Okay, he can't jump in now. Ooh, I could almost do that. I'll just go pickaxe for now. Yeah, I guess he is our only AP, that's true. Zeri does a little bit of magic. Oh, my team is going for the Kha'Zix. This Kha'Zix is so slippery, man. But he doesn't have ghosts this time. This dude is just juking with the blue smite, though. There we are. I welcome you. Hey, Warbass Vankle, thank you for the prime sub, dude. Appreciate the support, man. Galio so aggressive. I respect the attempt. I welcome you. I need to be kind of careful here. We can definitely pressure though. They used 
to Lissar and Kalar. It's like really big value ultis, so I think we could win this. Their comp is so hard to engage on, though. Need a good Zelene bomb. Oh my gosh, I die really fast. Dang. Dude, I can't go in versus their comp. Their comp is really good. We gotta play for Soul. I'm a little bit worried with how good their comp is. I'm actually not gonna get Randoons because she went Rage Blade. So she actually doesn't crit anymore. The crit gets converted to on hit damage. Smolder melts you, yeah. The Smolder's a big problem. This is a Smolder nerf too, man. I even got tabbies this game too. It's fine. We just got to find the right angle. And honestly, I I might need flash as well. Oh, we got another sub by the way. I killed for a food. Thank you for the prime sub, man. I like the username. Let's flash. We got really good bot pressure right now. This would be a pretty good time to pressure mid. What are we thinking, team? Brute Force? They got a tricky team comp. I wonder if I should go Dead Man's. Some speed would be really nice. We kind of just pressure mid until Baron spawns, I think. That way they got to deal with waves. Ah, man. They still have kill ulti anyway. I should not have ulted. Pretty short cooldown though. Dude, the hole breaker is doing work. Could just go for Baron here. That was kind of risky to take that portal. I don't want to get executed by the smolder. Oh, the Zeri pop off. Nice, dude. I'm going to TV back in. Don't let these guys cancel me, dude. One second. GG. That's fine. We don't need a TP back in. If I do one camp and then sell D Blade, I think we have enough for Dead Man's. I think I will go Dead Man's over a uh, Jack Show. I think both are good, but I think I need speed right now. This game looks so smooth. Yeah, I'm really happy with how we're playing this one. 
I don't think we made any like big mistakes so far. Always a few little mistakes. Maybe there is a big mistake I haven't noticed, but definitely feeling pretty solid. That new team is playing it really good too. Like props for how they're playing it. They're playing to the strength of their team comp, which is just like kiting. Oh, dude, Yeo K Sam 16. Thank you for the prime sub, man. Holy moly, I never got so many prime subs in one game. Thank you, guys. Really do appreciate it. Dude, our value on Hullbreaker has to be insane this game, by the way. I'm going to try to check at the end of the game. Man, I can't even E-Flash for Smolder because, like, he has so many things to save him. I think these are the type of Urgot games where you kind of have to play off your team. You kind of need to wait for your team to do something. Oh my gosh. I wish I got the Paul, but he got Rocket Healed. All right, well, I was just saying how we haven't made a big mistake. That was kind of the, the first one. Dude, this is after the Smolder nerfs. He's still doing so much. I got a decent chunk of armor, too. It's just a lot of true damage. I think I probably should go Jack Show. Dang, they got objective bounties. That's scary. And they could get soul next drag. Do you ever sell Hullbreaker with six item? Yeah, I usually sell it. Hullbreaker is the best item to sell, like, later on in the game. Because it's really good for breaking towers, but... At that point, most of the towers are broken. Guys, look at the stats on Hullbreaker, though. 5.4k structure damage. That is insane, dude. That's kind of without hitting the, even the inhibs, too. That's mostly towers, I think. I think I hit the bottom hip a little bit. Wow, he got the Master Yi. Kha'Zix is the Juke Master, man. We got so many minions, we might be able to just win here. I can still pull him pretty far away, which is good. That's the nice thing about kill ulties. It still pulls them. You just can't kill if she times it. They cleared the wave so fast, though. I don't know. I even got these things Hullbreaker buff. These fleet heals are doing work. It's such a guess with this Kha'Zix, man. He always goes like a... Such a random direction. I was trying, man. They should be able to get it. Nice, GG. Seven point six K structure damage on Hullbreaker. That's insane. 
Nice, that was a well-earned victory. I think both teams played that pretty good. Galio ultis are clean, man. So, D1 76 LP, that means we gotta win two more for Masters. Next game is gonna put me, like, so close if we win. Not a crazy amount of damage, but pretty good for, like, kill playing really safe. I wanna see my tower damage. That's the real stat this game. Almost 14k. Man, that's insane. Dude, look at that smolder damage. We're playing on the patch where smolder got, like, hard nerfed, by the way. This champ still feels really good. His win rate has been going down quite a bit, though. Yeah, this guy's a really big Orn one trick, though. Wow, he's Masters, 144 LP. Dude, I got put in a pretty high elo game. They got two people that are Grandmaster from last season. This is like a 140 LP game. I'm excited to see how we do against this guy. I haven't played where it's like a really good Orn in a while. I feel like the past few Orns I've been against have been kind of like auto filled or something. Just gonna do what I always do, try to get an early call back here. The thing with Orn early is they try to queue the minions and they try to hit you at the same time. So try not to like line up. Like you can always see them trying to line up to where they can get both. So you wanna try to play around that. Doesn't matter so much early if I get the wave pushed in, because I'm gonna back anyway. But I always get to practice those habits. Nice, perfect CSE on the first three waves. He could get a cancel on me here, it's a little bit greedy. I usually like to go back in this bush, just in case people try to cancel. I'll definitely go Cleaver first against Orn. Ooh, he didn't get his four shot. Oh no. He's just gonna suicide for it. Dang, pop his ghost too. Um, Smolder, I think he's still pretty good. His win rate did go down. But the the small the few smolders I've seen have been really good still. I do think there's going to be less people playing him, though, just off the win rate going down. Solid trade. I think he's going to buy Warden soon. The tricky thing with Orn is he can just buy it from lane. He doesn't even have to back. Land of the Q. Very nice. He's going to save his flash, I guess. He's probably thinking he still dies. Looks like he's teleporting. Hey, I'm doing good, uh, Crabman. How are you, dude? are gonna come for round two. I'm probably gonna have to pour it back if we want to go for grubs here. Yeah, I got masters a few days ago on my main account. Think how much stronger they'll be 
this account is diamond too, but man, it's this account's playing in higher lobbies than my main account. Like we're actually playing versus high masters. My MMR is really good on this account. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get this account to masters. And then depending, it's nice to have two accounts in masters because for one, I can like dodge games if I need to. Which I don't really like to dodge that much, but if I'm versus like a Vayne or Olaf or something, I might. But for two, it's also nice. If I have like a bad streak, I can try to just climb on the other account. Oh, I wish that E landed. He's got the Wardens. Um, the reason you do two points in Q is because you still get your W at nine. And it gives you a big damage boost going from one point to two point. It's more valuable to, to have that point in Q than it is to have a point in W. It's a little bit less value against tanks, but still nice in case you have to farm. If he tries to like zone me off a cannon, my Q will still do a lot of damage. Nice, kited out his brittle proc there. The thing that's nice right now, I don't do a ton of damage, but my sustain is really good with fleeting call. So I'm coming out on top on these trades. And if I can get him a little bit lower, we can try to all in for a grinder combo. I'll just go for a back here. I don't think he's going to push next wave quick enough. It is Orn though. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh, he got a Cinder. He probably will. Maybe it would have been good to wait for this cannon wave. Yeah, dang. I lose a little bit here, but the back was pretty good. Like, the items I get are pretty good. Now once I get 9, I have some kill pressure. Really even lane so far, though. We'll try to play for the next batch of grubs. I, I want to try to time my push with the grub spawn. So I want this big wave to crash in right when the grub spawn. That way the Orn has to choose to go for the wave or to help with grubs and leads the wave. Nice, this will be perfect. Plus we got the Zleen. I think that might be the same Zelene we had last game, too. Whoa, Aerie's so low. What the heck? Must have been a 1v1 in mid. Shut down. We get level 9 on this wave. I'm going to try to like jump in and trade as I get level 9.
He might just want to back though. Always try to cut out that brittle. That's the key in this match. You want to kite his brittle and you want to e buffer his knockups. If you're really quick too, you can e him out of his e. Oh my gosh, that's a brutal trade. Really? Wow, he gets me with the ulti there. Why does he aim it down? Was he just missing or was that a prediction? That's kind of crazy. All right, well, I didn't e-buff for his uh, knock up there. So that's why the trade went so bad. But yeah, this is kind of just how tanks are into Urgot. You need Cleaver in level nine to kind of start playing the game against them. I like Fleet a lot more against tanks, because even if you go PTA, you can't really kill a good tank player. And honestly, even if you do, it's like not really worth it. Yeah, if anyone's curious though, this is my rune page. I have a full scaling page, so it'll be really strong in team fights. The thing about tanks is they they kind of counter Urgot in lane. I, I think it's a soft counter because like sometimes you don't die, but it's very hard to kill a tank with wardens. If I get the e buffer though, it makes the trade way better. Team's telling me to back up. Good call. Wow, so close. Thought I could just kill her real quick. Hmm, let me think here. Probably just gonna get Swifties. Don't really have enough gold for anything else. Yeah, Conqueror is not really worth. It's okay, but I think Fleet's just the best thing you can do versus tanks. I think Fleet is also like pretty OP on Urgot right now. Fleet helps you more with the overall game because having speed is so important. And you get a lot more healing off Fleet. If you had PTA, you would have killed Cat. Yeah, I guess so. But there's like, I don't know. I don't like to look at the game that way though. Because you can look at team fights the same way if I had PTA compared to Fleet. Like there's going to be moments where PTA could be better, but you have to do what's better overall. But I mean, like I said, you can run PTA if you want to. It's not a bad run. Shut down. 
I don't know, man. I'm just playing versus tanks right now. It kind of sucks. Why is my ulti not going off? Holy moly. That last auto got him. God bless. There we go. Finally, man. These guys are so hard to kill. Fleet Swifties is a fun combo. Yeah, this combo is so good. It's a very good combo indeed. With Hole Breaker, it gets even better, too. Yeah, how's this guy going to complain about builds when he's rushing friggin' Wardens against Urgot, dude? Literally just makes it to where I can't play the Len. But yeah, kiting with Urgot's really important right now. First, like, every melee champ, it's pretty important. Every tank matchup, pretty much. Kaidi in general is just OP on League right now. That's why range champs are so hard, because Urgot just gets more kited. You just get outranged. Oh, he canceled my E. Let me go see if there's a fruit up. I just roam on mid. I rotate really fast with this build. Oh, I got the fear. That was max range. Really good rotation, and now I have TP advantage. Double kill. They don't really need me for that. I'm gonna try to get top tower here. Your team has destroyed a Oh, that's right. We got six grubs. I feel like I'm playing Trundle over here. Oh, yeah. Because I hit the Rift Herald, I got the Empowered Recall now. Yeah, Swifties don't reduce your W self slow. Because your W self slow is technically not a slow. You're just losing 125 movement speed. But it helps against enemy slows and like dodging skill shots, kiting. It's really valuable still. If they reduce the self slow too, man, that would be they would be auto by every game. I think right now, Tabbies are still good some games, but yeah, Swifties are really good. Oh, I got a lot of damage now. Oh, yeah. Now we're the Dreadnought. Your team has destroyed. 
They can't even defend their in hip right now. Might as well get bot. We got a lot out of this. I can also TP if anything happens. Yeah, Profane wouldn't be bad this game. I could do Profane fourth. We're so fed right now. I think we could. I don't know. Our team has a lot of damage, though. I don't know if I need a Profane this game. If I go Profane, there is a chance I get, like, one shot by Cat. Does he have backup? Wait, why did he use it that way? Is he trying to get out with the dash? Man, that feels so good to finally be able to kill Orin. Nice, GG. 140 LP Orin right there, guys. Got a good passive spawn. Nice, that's good though. His passive will be down for like 20 seconds. If he doesn't loot the thingy, it's like 45 seconds. Whoa, Kane is invading already? I've been seeing a lot of Kanes do this jungle pathing where they just do their chickens and then they invade right away. I need to be kind of careful of a cane gank now, though. Would actually be really nice to get a ward down. Nice. I think I denied his passive there. I was trying to flash to just step on it. Alright, cool. We got his ghost as well. I assume he's going to port back. Oh, Kane is here too. Kane's kind of low, man. I think Mundo would kill me though if I try for it. All right, nice. We killed this lane without even going Ignite. I'm going to try Executioner Rush this game. Since we're running Teleport, I'm going to try something a little bit new. I think Fleet and Teleport, I, I just think they're so good right now. I don't want to give it up, which is why I'm trying this page. I also think this game is going to go to late game with both of the team comps. An ally has been slain. Wow, cast with a solo kill. Not even a gank. If he ever walks up right now, we're going to try to look for the E since he has no ghost.
That's one thing I don't like about this matchup. If his passive blocks out your E, then your W doesn't lock on. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to freeze that, but it's too greed. Don't have a call this game, so I need to play a little safer. Maybe I should have gone cold before going executioner. Ooh, Kane's up here too. Alright, this will be a little bit tricky. I was going to try for a level 6 kill, but I don't think I can. With Kane being up here. I can't pull him with my ulti unless I knock off his passive with my E first. I appreciate that comment, by the way, Volts. Glad the Urgot commentary is helping. Alright, we need a hard push. He's backing, it looks like. Is it cannon? This is going to be dicey. I might just have to leave the wave like this. Were those minions invisible? That was weird. I swear that, that minion wave was like kind of invisible there. like they appeared kind of late dude if I had mana all right that's fine we can't push that wave too greedy Swifties are really broken this game they're really good against Mundo but they're really good for the rest of the game because they they got a lot of slows I'm just going to get those out of the way right now. Hey, what's up, C-Splash? You still taking a break from League, dude? Oh, nice. I got XP on that cannon. If I didn't get Swifties, I would not make it in time to get that XP. That's a really underrated thing about Swifties. Like, getting around the map faster... And getting back to your lane faster, too. And stacking up fleet faster. Boots are really strong right now. It looks like it is going to be a blue cane this game, by the way. If it was a red cane, I was going to go Borg 100%. I might still go Borg to counter out the Mundo, though. This guy's playing the lane pretty good, too. I feel like he is going to be a bit of a threat this game. I don't need to flash for a shotgun. I was about to. But my executioner is countering his heal pretty hard. He, like, doesn't even regen, honestly. Like, the initial heal is decent, but after that, he, like, doesn't even regen. I think we'll leave the wave like this because Kane's up here. I think he's going to rush the second batch of those grubs. I don't think we make it in time. Oh, 
Oh, that might be a kill, actually. Oh, if he landed the Q. It's really nice if we get two grubs, though. Denying the enemy team from getting five is really good. Honestly, man, I don't even think grubs are that OP right now. I think they're nice, but... Like, in this case, we got the first dragon for the first grub spawn, which I think is a better trade. I think grubs are nice, but, like, they don't win you the game. I think getting dragon soul wins you the game pretty much every time. Or, like, 90% of the time. Might be able to get a kill here, honestly. It's going to take a little bit of time now. I lose if he hits Cleaver on me. Man, my fleet heals are not strong enough yet. The reason I didn't pull him in is because he had passive up. So it would have blocked out my ulti. If you keep the ulti on him, then you still get the slow. I guess I'll sell my refillable. I'm going to TP behind him. He's not going to see this. Yeah, that's why in the Mundo matchup, you you kind of have to land your E to kill him. So on my first E when I missed, I honestly shouldn't have tried for the kill after that. It, I mean, it would have been close. I definitely... I live there if Cass doesn't TP. So it's a good TP by Cass. But yeah, it's a nice little trick against Mundo. If you just leave your ulti on him, you're still getting the slow. If you pull him right away and his passive blocks it, then you just lose out on the slow. Hey, welcome in, Rakes. Oh, we got Swifties too. I'm about to power spike like crazy on Cleaver, though. I'm going to get this wave pushed in and just get by Cleaver. It's going to be huge for the matchup. It's good to trade a little bit because I'm going to back anyway. Please don't get the plate. Nice. 3 HP. I can get that on my way back. Actually, I don't know. We only got 30 seconds. Come on, Urgot. Use your six legs, dude. Nah, I don't think I get there in time. Because I got to push the wave still. I could have stayed for that plate then, I guess. Nice, this will be a kill. Yeah, if you get if you get his passive off with your E. Especially on Cleaver Spike, you just start hard winning. This is where the matchup gets really good. And with the rune setup that I'm going, it gets even better for me. You can't really run from fleet. I was hoping it'd be a Cloud Soul. It's gonna be something else. Huh. 
Huh, where did he go? Is he on Krugs? Let's try to help mid out. This guy's getting solo boloed by Kassadin again. I got him. Yeah, so I'll try to help out this uh, Talia more. Hopefully she got an assist on that. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the top wave for my mini map. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Vinda is going where he pleases, I guess. I do not know what mind controlled him to do that play. I'll take it, though. I guess he probably thought he was dead anyway, so he's just going to get a demolish proc. I kind of want to go profane this game second, actually. We're doing really good. Yeah, let's do some profane. I think I can carry this game. Plus, we got good front line. Oh, they got a control ward. I don't want to steal this blue buff. I guess it doesn't really matter, though. Talia's in anyway. Well, that was weird. He was, like, lagging there for a sec. Somehow that Q missed. Kind of looked like it landed to me. This moon does fast though, man. Holy moly. That's right, our mid went bot lane. There's a wild blue cane over here. Is he low? Blue cane's like one of the hardest champs to stick to. Can just run through the walls. Wow, the Q stays on when Zach does his E. I've actually never seen that. That's pretty cool. Let's go kill this Ash. Might need to use my Flash. I don't think her uh, thingy saw me. Oh, she's dead. I can save Flash. Perfect E buffer. Very nice. Alright, cool. I already have gold for Profen. Let's go get that before the Drake fight. We want to play for every Drake this game. Gain early soul. I think with this build, it's probably better to go Starex third over Holebreaker. It's hard to say. I'm still experimenting with it, but I feel like it's good to go... Like, it's good to get Sterex and be a little bit tanky. Because you just have so much damage with Cleaver Profan. Man, four Grub Mundo, though. Goodbye, Tower.
Profane over Hullbreaker? Yeah, I think when you're snowballing, it's really good. Your team has destroyed a turret. Only when you're hard snowballing, though. Also, if you're versus Squishy Champion, you can do a... Uh, this guy's proxying our midway. That's actually pretty smart. My team can just go for Drake, though. But if you're versus Squishy Champion, I think... I think Hullbreaker into Profane is really good. It's a really good build to counter split pushers, too, like Fiora. Oh, that's not good. Alright, I'm just gonna accept my death. They used a lot. I was gonna flash kill that Janna. If I didn't miss the E on Mundo, I maybe could have bursted him. I don't know, though. Maybe not with Janna there. Yeah, that's greedy to go for that 1v1, especially with them having Ash Arrow. Whenever I go Profane, I get a little too greedy in the side lane sometimes. I need to work on that. I think that's a lot of gold for Mundo, actually. Not really worried about the Mundo this game, though. We have so much 8% HP counter. How can you learn to toggle your W? Honestly, just practice. I would practice on towers, especially. Hold on, I'm gonna try to flank this. Me and Zach can clean up. Oh my god, the freaking Janna Tornado, dude. No way, man. Now they live. That is such a good tornado. But yeah, the W toggle thing is kind of weird because Hullbreaker also made it a bit harder. Because when you have Hullbreaker, you want to do 4 W auto attack. I think it's way easier to do 3 W auto attack, though. I don't really want to get bot now since I just used my teleport. Ah, I have to get bot though. This Mindo's pushing. All right, we're just gonna hard push bot then. I mean, honestly, this guy should be dead, right? I'm gonna save my grinder. We got a lot of damage. I might have to TV one if we push here. Could definitely try. It'd be good to let me push first, though. The nice thing with Profane is it gives you really good 1v2 potential. Because all you try to do with Profane is you go for the squishy target first. And you just try to take him out of the game ASAP. Like you just try to one combo him, just burst him. Then you just make it a 1v1. Assuming Mundo is going to be here, I might try to tower dive him. I think I'm strong enough. Oh man, I am not strong enough. Famous last words. I'm honestly a little bit surprised. I guess I'm used to having Bork against Mundo. He has zero armor, dude. Like, actually... Oh, he has Sunfire, actually. Alright, he's got a bit of armor, but still. He's still pretty squishy. Look at the stats of my Executioner, though. 2.1k healing reduced, 1.7k health region reduced. It's actually pretty good.
I know, I just thought I would burst him quick enough. But yeah, 1400 from tower there. At least we get the Baron buff. We spawn right in time. This death honestly doesn't really do anything for the game. Unless Mundo carries. If Mundo carries, then my team can report me. Then it's my bad. I think we're good though. We got Infernal Soul here, hopefully. This fight might be a little tricky to play though. Yeah, we need to get Zack engaged. Dude, that profane damage. Did you guys see the first auto on that Ash? That did literally like half of her HP. I used my profane to nuke the cast in there too. That was really good. I think I think Bork is too overkill in this build since I went profane. Hmm, I want to go damage since we got Infernal Soul. I could either go Holebreaker or I could try out Sundered Sky this game. I'm going to try Sundered Sky. I'm down to limit test a little bit. There's a good chance we win on this push anyway, though. Maybe I'll go top and look for a teleport. That's probably better. That tier T is, like, super low, too. I don't want this Mundo doing, like, a backdoor... Thousand fifty nine damage on that shotgun. Oh, nice. Talia giving me a wall. Buy some time. I could kill Janet with flash, but I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather use it for a team fight. Wow, that Q damage with Infernal is good, though. Oh, yeah, that's a way better use of my flash. Nice, good stuff, team. Honestly, I liked this setup against Mundo. I think I like the fleet better than just building Executioner. 